We've had some clouds developing this morning, but not a whole lot in the way of rain. Isolated showers around out in the eastern Kentucky had a couple crews through just south of Cincinnati earlier. Some development up uh, towards uh, northern uh, Indiana and Ohio and also showers across Tennessee. So we're kind of in the middle of all the action. Of course, somebody that's right in the action, it's Florida. That is Elsa making landfall this morning. It spent the night running up central Florida and throwing multiple tornado warnings, pretty much just popping on and off. You could watch them going north. And now that threat is diminishing somewhat, uh, but the heavy rain threat still very much there. And this is cloud cover. You can see the deeper red, the deeper convection, the, the center of it is about 115 miles west southwest of Jacksonville, and it's going to start to take a northerly to northeasterly turn. It's heading north right now. Sustained winds still at 65 miles per hour. So yeah, strong tropical storm and they are getting swamped. The big concern is going to uh, transition from coastal flooding and storm surge over to the potential for just torrential rain, tropical rainfall and flooding. So they've downgraded the uh, hurricane warnings now a tropical storm warning that's coastal there. But look at this, they've extended the tropical storm warning up through Charleston and now they've got a tropical storm watch that goes all the way up to Jersey. Uh, so this thing's running all the way up the East Coast. Uh, they're going to get battered. Here's the National Hurricane Center forecast track. You can see that northeast hook. So by Thursday, tropical depression over Columbia, South Carolina, and then eventually possibly going right through New York City up towards Boston and then eventually out of here. So it could cause problems all the way up the East Coast. A band of anywhere between three to four, five inches of rain, possibly some pockets of heavier totals, especially down in the North Florida where they could see a half a foot or more. So yeah, they're going to get swamped, flash flooding, a huge concern. Here we are with all that bypassing us to the southeast, but we've got our own rain chances, showers and storms on and off into the weekend. Every day there's a chance. Today, a better chance than yesterday, but still fairly widely scattered showers and thunder showers. You can see them developing into the heat of the afternoon, tracking in from down south. We'll have a better chance with a focus. This cold front coming in tomorrow. There goes Elsa behind me. So here comes that boundary. Scattered showers and storms likely, especially by late Thursday. Uh, heavy rain and possibly some stronger wind gusts with some of those. The overall severe threats low, but the front doesn't clear the state, so we may see a brief break in the action Friday and then have a renewed round coming in later in the weekend as it lifts back north as a warm front, which also means we never really get a break from the heat or the humidity. There could be a brief humidity reprieve Friday with that front just to our south. We're in the 80s now. The dew point is swampy. We've got so much moisture out there. It's 70 degrees for the current dew point temperature. That means the air is really muggy. And look at the consistency in highs, mid to upper 80s all the way through the rest of the week and into the upcoming weekends. So keep a close eye out today. Hot and humid, got that covered already and have for a while. Scattered showers and thunder showers developing into the heat of the afternoon. They'll bubble up from down south, gradually drift north, and those that you do see could be heavy rain producers. Partly cloudy, a few showers, thunder showers hanging on overnight. Tomorrow, especially later in the day as that front approaches, we'll see that shower and storm chance ramp back up again. So the most active weather could very well come in late Thursday. A brief drop Friday, then it ramps back up, of course, just in time for the weekend.